was from Brahmagupta's work that the Arabs learned algebra. And it was through Arabs that algebra went to where? Europe. From his book Algebra, he wrote a book, he wrote two, three books. In that, whatever he had learned from the Indian mathematicians, he wrote in Persian and then it got translated to, I mean, it, it spread to the other European countries. Okay? Even the Indian numerals that we study, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these symbols, you know what are they called? They are either called Arabic numerals or now they are called Indo-Arabic numerals or Indian Arabic numerals. But the source of that, you know why it is called in Indian Arabic? I suppose this is my pen. Okay, this is my pen. I give that pen to him. Yeah. You give it to somebody else. So now when you receive it, from whom did you receive it? From this boy. So what will she say? I got this pen from him. But from where did he get it? He got it from me. So this is my pen. So she might think that this is this pen is his pen. So that is how from the Brahmi script from Dev it got developed to Devanagari script. All these symbols, no, one, two, three in Devanagari. One, two, three, four. These symbols later got transformed to I mean the Arabs they made into Arabic symbols and from the Arabs the English they uh, made into new symbols. So since they got it from Arabs they call it Arabic numerals and since now today the world knows that it was India's contribution they call it Indian Arabic numerals. But I still wonder why that name Arabic is used in this. Okay.